Hey guys and welcome to this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri. My name is Lauri Laukkonen and I'm one of the editors at SLR Lounge. You can also find me on Facebook at Lauri Laukkonen Photography. Today we're going to be taking a look at the hue and saturation panel in Photoshop and how we can use this tool in order to change up the color of a background to a totally different hue and color. With that said, let's get started. So here you guys can see a before and after image. So this is the image straight out of the camera and here is a image after all the editing. As you can see the background in the original photograph was blue and it has some tex texture from the wallpaper as well so I cleaned that up and changed the color and hue of the background as well as the whole image so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's go to Photoshop and uh, here the first step that I did when I started editing this photograph was I cleaned up the background and did some stuff, uh, cleaned up the skin a bit as well. So that's what I have here, two layers when I put it on, as you can see. I just used the healing brush and uh, got rid of the texture behind there and did some smooth uh, skin smoothening, smoothening as well. Uh, I have all the edits in this folder, but uh, we're going to edit the image again so you guys can really get the clear view of what I did for this image. So after cleaning up, the background and uh, the skin. What I did, I took a opened up the channel mixer panel from here. Let's put it here and move the image. And went down to this uh, blue uh, channel here. There are a few rules that you should keep in mind when sliding these uh, sliders. Here you can see a number, which is a total number. So if, for example, you pull the reds down. 10%, 12%, and the greens down 10 or 12%, let's see, like 13. So then you should pull the blues back up so that the total would be somewhere around 100%. That way uh, you keep the colors pretty natural. I think for this image, I went somewhere around 92. That way I kept some yellow in the image. But not didn't go overboard. So 92 uh, probably would be quite good. So just to show the before and after. So as you can see, the skin was kind of pale and slightly magenta. Now it's the highlights are slightly more yellowish. So that's what I started out with by making the skin slightly more yellowish and giving it slightly more color. But this might be slightly too much, so I kind of think I'll pull down the opacity a bit maybe down to 85. So just a bit of yellow in the highlights in the skin. That looks pretty good. After that, uh, for this image, I was going for a more of a desaturated look. So what I did was I took the hue and saturation panel and uh, here I have the master channel. We have all the colors as well, but for just quick desaturating, I'll just choose the master channel here and pull down the saturation. And that way, as you can see, if I pull it totally down, you get a black and white image. Uh, for this image, I pulled the saturation down about minus 25, 26% here. And uh, I also changed the hue a little bit to the green side. But uh, as this is just the beginning of the color work, so I didn't really want to go great, crazy. Just a little bit to the greenish side. So minus 3. After that... I have two textures which I applied. I'll actually pull them out. Let's close this. So I have two textures that I applied to the image. Uh, here's one. Let's put it on normal for a second. You can see. So this is kind of a texture, and I just put it on multiply. It darkens up the upper parts here. And then I have another texture here which we can also put on normal just for a sec. So this kind of uh, texture here, and uh, that was on overlay. And together they just add some interest into the background and darken up, which and kind of give a natural vignette here up. So that's why I left those textures up here. But then after that, what I did, I took a curves adjustment layer from here and uh, 
click on this hand here and go over a highlight area somewhere like here, pull it up, make the layer mask black, so make it black, and then paint in some highlights. So this is now I'm dodging the do dodging. Uh, I'll pull down the flow down to about nine percent. That way it's not this huge effect, and then just follow the natural highlights. So I. Like I have a highlight here on the tip of the nose, so I can exaggerate that a bit. I have a highlight, some highlights here, here as well. Maybe some on the ice cream, just a bit to give it some pop. And then the fingers, the hand, and also on the on this uh, hood of hood of the jacket. So like this, and the hair. So what I did here, I just exaggerated the highlights a bit. I actually am quite quite happy with the shadows, and uh, I like the gritty feel that it has with the hard shadows. So I decided not to touch them at all. I just exaggerated the highlights a bit. You can also go in on the eyes for a second and uh, add some brightness to them. Gotta be just careful not to do too much, as uh, then it will start looking fake. But something like that could be pretty uh, good. Okay, just on and off so you can see. Okay, and after the dodging, uh, I felt that there was slightly too much color in the skin anyway. So I went down to this hue and saturation panel. And now we could first, before I start using it, I, I, Let's discuss about this panel a bit. This is a very good tool and I've actually started using it quite a lot uh, during this past month or so. And uh, how it works is it has four, or actually even more than four, many different tabs with di different colors. But what how I use it is I usually just leave it on master first and then click on this hand here and then go over the area that I want to change the hue of. So in this case I want to change up the hue of the skin a bit. So I click on the skin and it automatically knows that I'm going to be tweaking the reds and that way it adjusts the area that this uh, adjustment is going to affect from here. And that way, for example, now I pull the saturation down it only affects the skin because that's where the reds reds are in this image and for this image what I actually did was I desaturated the reds a bit but not a lot just about minus 15 percent like this just a slight desaturation of the skin so that I got rid of some of the yellow that we added beforehand and so that it kind of blends better together but yeah so I, what I do like I said what I do I have the master here I click on the hand, click on the area that I want to adjust, in this case the skin, it automatically knows what I'm going to be adjusting, and then you can just change up whatever you want here. You can change the hue to a more greenish tone, to a more red, uh, reddish violet tone. You can also adjust the lightness, but this really doesn't do much, so I usually, usually don't touch it. But actually what today when we're going to be changing the blue background, we're going to be also uh, touching the lightness. So I'll just quickly reset, click on the skin and desaturate it about 15%. Good. Now the basis of the image is, or the image itself is almost done. What I really wanted to do was just to change the background so that we would get a more of a monochromatic look. Uh, the, so that the background really blends together with the overall desaturated look of the image. So I decided to go with a more of a brownish desaturated tone. And that's uh, how to do it. I went down to the hue and saturation panel here. And uh, again, click on the hand, go over the blue area, the background, click on it. It automatically knows we're going to be editing the blue areas. And then what I first did was I changed the hue. As you can see, now we can change the hue to pretty much any color we want. If you would want to go with this sort of a image that will work very well if you like uh, a more yellowish tone which actually we are going to be using so that's what we have here I used the yellow 
uh, and then pull down the lightness to bring it to a more of a brownish tone uh, but not totally dark as then you lose all the color so somewhere around eight minus 82 and then I pull up the saturation a bit just to make sure that the color really stays there so that we are not really doing a black uh, black and white background so pull up this uh, saturation maybe up to 16 okay so with just that kind of easy uh, adjustment we can change up the background and change up the whole feel of this image just by using the hue and saturation panel so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the hue and saturation panel in Photoshop and, and how we can use it uh, in order to tweak the colors of our images. If you have any questions or requests for future episodes please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you all out and take your requests into account when uh, designing new episodes for this series. With that said thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next Tuesday. Bye!